just wanted to touch base. Uh, I know we've talked about this in the past, but I thought I would demonstrate it actually being used. And that is, all right, if you look at, for example, this security right here, RTW on the screen, the, the top one, I have 102 shares. I bought it at $4.28 a share. Right now it's at $7.21. And what this is showing me is right now I'm experiencing a 68.57% increase from when I bought it. I'm sitting at roughly a $300 profit. Now, as you know, the market's been up, it's been down, it's been up, it's been down. For the most part, my portfolio has been hovering around 0% for the total, okay, which means it's just sitting there idle. But the point I'm trying to make is I've got $300 in profit sitting here right now. And if this security starts going back down, I want to take some of that profit so that I can reinvest it into either more of the same or maybe something else we'll see but the point is is I'm willing to uh, you know, I'm desiring to take some profit if it turns around and heads back towards a zero percent or a low percent so what I have done is uh, I have put in what's called a stop order okay so what, what this shows is the actual order after it's been executed. I'll show you how I get there in a minute. But basically, I've selected the RTW. I've told them to sell it. I've told them 43 shares. <clears throat> and the stop is at $6.95 per share. So what this means is right now it's at $7.21. If the market starts going down for this particular security, then what will happen is when it gets to $6.95, it's going to trigger a market sell for 43 shares. And I should pull out roughly about $300 profit out of that security. Um, so how did I get there? Or how did I choose the price? So what I did is I went over here. And, whoop, wrong one. Hold on. I do that sometimes. My bad. And the internet's slow today. All right, so I select the security. I'm in my Seeking Alpha page, and I'm looking at RTW. And so what I did is I looked at the one day, and I looked at the low. All right, six dollars and ninety-nine cents. I looked at the five-day, and I got down to like six eighty-four. So I did a, a rough approximation, and that's where I came up with six dollars and ninety-five cents. Okay, so from there, what I did is I went over here to my trading situation. I put in the RWT. I selected sell and order type. I selected stop. Now that, let's talk about the difference here: a stop and a stop limit. If I put stop limit and I put six dollars and ninety-five cents, when it, once it hits that, if it were to hit, go down to six dollars and ninety-five cents, it's going to put an order to sell at six dollars and ninety-five cents. If that doesn't execute right away, it's not going to execute. But the stop, if it goes down to $6.95, it's going to immediately issue a market trade. So maybe it sells at $6.94, right? Maybe $6.93. Unless the market just tanks and it does it really fast, the probability is I'm going to sell it for around what I put the stop in at. Okay? So when you click on that, click stop, so you get this other dialog box that comes up. And this is where you enter the price where you want it to stop at. So this is where I entered the $6.90. It even gives you a little estimate. Uh, oh, I didn't tell it the quantity. Okay, so if I put in the quantity, 
what's the, what this is showing is almost three hundred dollars that I'm going to profit by. Now, when I click on review order, it's going to give me a dialog box. It's going to ask me, do I understand what I'm doing? And it's going to tell me the pros and the cons and all that stuff. Yeah, okay. And then when you go past that, you approve the order. And once you approve it, that's when you'll see the screen that I showed you earlier showing the order. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's all I wanted to show you today is that's, what's a, that's a stop limit. What that stop, not limit, that's a stop it's a sell stop. That's really what they call it, but a stop order. Not a stop limit, but a stop order. And to give you an idea, if you click, now this is in Schwab. I imagine your platform has something similar. But if you forget one or the other, go over here and you look like, okay, a limit order, sell order. A sell order will execute at or above your limit price. And a buy order will execute at or below your limit price. Okay. Make sure I'm saying this right to you. Yeah, sell stop. Okay, sorry, I'm getting myself sidetracked here. That's why you gotta check this stuff sometimes just to keep yourself on the on the right place. So I, I placed a stop order and I placed a sell stop. So the sell stop, sell stops are entered are entered below the current market price. If the security trades at or below your stop price, your stop order becomes a market order and it will sell at the current market price. As it so shows here, a sell stop is designed to help protect a profit or limit a loss on a long position. So that's what that's for. In other words, you don't have to sit here and babysit it and watch it and watch it and watch it. You can set this up and go to the beach. You can set this up and go have dinner. Set this up and go to the bathroom, whatever you want to do. But if you can't sit there and, and don't have the time or the desire or want to sit there and stare at a screen and babysit your stock, you can set these up, and this is one way to take profit if you're in a volatile market. So what do I mean by that? Basically, my strategy will be to take that $300 profit and then watch it. If it continues to go down, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up another uh, a, uh, a buy stop, and then I'll set up to where I can buy it when it goes down. Okay, so in other words... I'm basically looking to skim the profits off of this security and then go back and buy it again. Or if I get bored with it, I'll go buy something else. But point being is, is this is a way to skim a little profit off without selling off all your security. And you're in this to make a profit. So this is one of the ways you can do that. So anyhow, I'm going to clear all this because I'm not going to execute that one. And... Uh, yeah, there we are. So just wanted to show you how that works. I hope you're having a great day. Talk soon.